Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In a previous video, I showed you this TTGO VGA ESP32 board that has keyboard and mouse and SD card and audio and of course VGA out. And in that video, I showed you how to turn it into a VIC-20 emulator. But all along in the back of my mind, I was thinking that this could be a pretty funny IT pranking device. Now, we're going to do some things that are harmless and uh, I'm going to show you what it does and then I'm going to show you how to implement it. So as I plug this device in, some stuff is going to come up on the screen and I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes what makes this so diabolical. So we're going to plug the device in and it's going to power up in just a second or two. And you can see here that you have been infected with BIOS rootkit. All your files are belong to us. You cannot turn off. You cannot reboot. To decrypt system, you must buy one ESP crypto at the following link. It gives a bit.ly link and then it tells you that we are actively exploiting the following networks. And these are real networks in my area. And it says your defenses are useless against our attacks. Now, this in itself might be enough to cause your IT guy to wet his pants a little bit. I mean, there's real hackery words on there. We have BIOS rootkit. We have uh, decryption and crypto and, you know, all the words that you'd expect to see in some kind of ransom demand. And uh, we are showing some real networks. So this thing sort of shows some sentience to it. We've got the blinking cursor that makes you believe that it's a real interaction with the computer. Now, what's interesting is that this thing would be hooked up to a different input on the computer, which means that you could actually pull the power cord on the computer and you would still see this message. So the whole, you cannot turn off, you cannot reboot, at least for a minute or two, would look pretty real to the person. Now, the magic though, is in the implementation. And there are three different ways that you can implement this thing. As I said, way number one would be, let's say your computer is connected to an HDMI. Um, what you could do is simply connect this device to the VGA on the same monitor, use the USB on that monitor to power the device, and then uh, just change inputs. And so somebody would be coming down to your computer and you know punching on the thing, nothing would be coming up on the screen. You could control, alternate, delete, nothing would happen. You can move the mouse, nothing could happen. You could pull the power cord, nothing would happen and you're stuck here with this virus message. And so uh, that is pretty unbelievable and pretty funny in and of itself. But now let's say that you work in IT and you wanna take things up one step further. If that's the case, your IT department most likely has one of these KVM switches deployed somewhere. And all you have to do is flip it around and plug this bad boy into one of the inputs and you would never see it back here. It would just look like any other computer. If you really wanna be tricky, you can switch the main computer over to a different one and plug this in where the main computer should go. But if you really, really wanna be diabolical, track down one of these little slot covers that's designed for nine pin serial or VGA and I'm gonna show you what to do with it. Get rid of the old connectors and take the screws out of the ESP32 and thread these bad boys in there and you're going to make this thing look like it is a graphics card in the system itself, which means that you could look back there and really wouldn't have a whole lot of reason to believe that this wasn't the graphics card of the system. Let me show you. Find you a computer that already has onboard video, but also has slots to add your own cards, and you can simply pop this thing in and make it look like a PCI Express graphics card. And there you have it. Now, all you need to do is plug a micro USB into the power and a little phone power bank in, and you are off to the races. So as you can see, we have the message on the screen with absolutely nothing else plugged into the computer other than the monitor, and that's the joke. Enough to make your IT guy think, how could this possibly be possible? Um, but it is totally up to you to understand the sense of humor of whoever you're pulling this prank on. I go through great pains to make sure we're not connecting to any networks, we're not exfiltrating any data or doing anything that breaks the Computer Fraud Abuse Act or anything like that. It's purely a visual prank. Uh, in fact, this bit.ly link is actually one that goes to and tells you that uh, you have been pranked and gives people an opportunity to buy the board using my uh, Amazon and Banggood links. And so, you know, I really appreciate if you do that. It helps the channel. But anyway, I've given you all the code in the description to do this, and I uh, hope you have fun with it. Stay out of trouble.